Now she's coming up. What? There you go. All right, so you're gonna have these two things here, your skylight and your flashing kit. This is gonna have uh, the, the very important tape that they have and all the tins and everything, and this is pretty much just a skylight with a couple pieces of uh, top and side flashing on it. So let's go ahead and get started with this. If you got like a really high up window, always peel that before you set it in. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in there in just a second and take that bag out, so I'll peel it then. But when you're setting this, come look inside of here. Sometimes the trim isn't very square, so you're gonna have to kinda cheat it so it makes the most sense with the trim. Yeah, this is all kinds of twisted to where no matter what I do, I can't really get it very perfect. A lot of times, you're gonna wanna go down inside anyway and have somebody adjust it while you tell them you know, where it looks good and then they can start sinking some nails. But uh, where I have that actually looks pretty good and it looks good with my shingles. So I think we're just gonna go with that. Now once you've got it where you want it, just put some nails in it. Um, I always take this flashing off the one that's orange taped right there before I start nailing, but I'm just gonna get this tack so it doesn't move. Just cause it's super close, you don't wanna hit it with the hammer. So that's not moving now. Just take up this orange tape. So you're gonna to wanna to slide this one downwards. Put that somewhere safe. All right, now that that's done, we're gonna get into the flashing kit here. This is that really good ice and water shield like window tape like product here. The small piece is for the bottom, and this bigger piece is for the top. By the way, I usually flatten this with a hammer. Um, most often times, I do that after I uh, install it, but while I'm explaining stuff, I figure I'll just go through it. And then they also have this one really useless piece here. It'll never fit over that thing. I have, I think it's uh, to prevent this from getting bent. So probably all this useless piece of metal is for just to make sure that this stuff doesn't get bent while it's moving around and it will be able to slide over uh, the stuff it's supposed to go over. So again, this bigger piece is for the top. Now all we're gonna do is we've got our gasket flipped up. We're just gonna give ourselves a few extra inches here. Now this stuff is really, really sticky, especially if it's warm out. So you want you don't want it to touch itself. So it'll, it's really a good idea to have somebody help you with this. Otherwise you just gotta be really careful. Some people will only Peel it partially and then try and give this a go here. I wish I would hold myself up a little better. And then what you got to do with this is you're trying to get this up as high as possible behind uh, up against like that wood back there. So you see I'm um, pretty much as high as possible right there up on the wood. And then you're going to come over here, do the same thing. Pretty, pretty good across, actually. I'll just start from the top down. Really push it in that crease good. And 
what I do here is I just get my knife right in that corner. Just go out at a 45. And that'll bend around. You see how that kind of broke when I pushed it backwards? It's because I start my knife away from the corner a little bit. Then it allows that membrane to kind of wrap over a little bit. We're going to do the same thing with the sides coming down. Just give yourself a little extra. They give you plenty on these rolls. Don't go crazy though because I got an extra little trick uh, for the remainder you guys might like. Touch a corner there. this stuff is. Yeah, it's good. I thought it, I thought it wasn't. Down here again, the corner is about right here. I'm just going to start my cut about a quarter inch away from that. And then we're going to press that down and then wrap this under. So now you can see that corner went completely wrapped. It's very solid. Time to shingle. So obviously this flashing won't cover yet. It's got to cover cover down onto the reveal part. So I'm just gonna a couple marks here. Those of you who don't know what I'm using here, it's a hook blade cut. I got one of those dual blade knives. I put a straight blade in the other side for opening bundles and uh, helps to have the two when it comes to um, felting and ice shield, you know. Felt's cut easier with a straight blade. Ice shield is cut better with a hook blade, so. You gotta put this flashing behind the gasket. See, I don't cover yet either, so I gotta put one more row on.
okay that's good for now that, that's uh, your first tin basically uh, for this you have to secure it with something either that or you need to run uh, a thick bead of some caulking underneath there so that wind driven rain doesn't lift this um, it's probably a pretty good idea maybe I should start doing that what I'll normally do is I'll put those neoprene washers uh, or screws with the washers on them that'll hold that down you can do that or you could just caulk nails like uh, a lot of people do come behind me So you're going to take this tin, you're going to drop it all the way down to the reveal, basically. Hopefully the next shingle will hold that down. If it doesn't, you can always add another one. But you want to put your nails uh, pretty much as high as possible. It's, it's a good practice if you have to nail flashing, which you do here. Did not mean to do that. Might have screwed up. So there's a very important thing that I like to do, which is stop one shingle, one shingle shy of the top. It's because you don't want any tin showing. Like you see how nice this looks over here with no tin showing. Well, the last thing you want is one of these sticking out at the top as well. It makes sense on the bottom, but at the top it doesn't. So if I was to put this on and it stick out under the shingle. That'd be very, very ugly, a little tongue here. So I always make sure I put this on uh, where it's, you know, kind of like a tin should be. All right. You don't want to, if I had put that shingle on, I would have screwed myself. Here's what it would have looked like. So I put that shingle on and then put this one on and then decided to try and shingle around it. You would have seen that much of an ugly tin sticking out. Now, take a step back and look at the top and the bottom. So that would have been really, really ugly. You want to stay away from that. So keep these things handy so you can make sure you're not putting one too many. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. We'll, we'll come over in a little bit here.
so it's time for the top flashing now. Just gonna drop that. I'm missing anything in my... Oh, yeah, I am actually. Um, you could slide this on after I've seen guys do that, but uh, I do prefer to put these on uh, in order, more or less, the way that makes sense. are now on you see how these are kind of a little bit loose this top flashing actually fixes that once in a while I'll uh, give these nails too just that little that little part I uh, hammered and then we actually, uh, we're going to use the remainder of this, like I said, for a cool little trick. So if you need to shoot extra nails to flatten this out, it's really not a big deal because we have so much of this. protection here. So I'm going to go kind of in the middle here to where this will stop build up going that way and it also has a decent barrier along the top there for if, if uh, ice comes up here, you know, snow build up or whatever. A lot of nails on us. If not, no. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. So these feel a little loose. That's what these tabs are for. You just slide that upwards and then fold it down. And that, that holds this thing in there pretty good. This locks the uh, all the flashings together. comes to this, I usually try and get a full shingle involved. Um, so I'm gonna break, actually where does my next seam land? Yeah, I can go about right there. Alright, so that's pretty much just starting with a full shingle. That is a full shingle for me. That's pretty solid there. Um, also, you could add add a bead of quad here or something if you wanted before you installed this. I don't feel it's super necessary. And 
and I avoid putting nails there on that first row. So she's all done now. All right, we're all wrapped up here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hopefully this helped you.